During World War II, despite not being an industrial powerhouse, Romania was relatively lacking in heavy weaponry. After the implementation of the Barbarossa Plan, the Romanian army extensively used captured equipment and upgraded and modified them to meet new combat requirements. The Mersal tank destroyer was one of the vehicles that underwent these modifications. The armored forces of Romania were not strong to begin with and could not withstand the heavy losses in the armored battles on the Eastern Front. As early as December 1942, Marshal Antonescu of Romania proposed the construction of a highly mobile, heavily armed vehicle that could be produced using readily available materials and the country's limited industrial capacity. Following this concept, designers quickly developed a series of designs based on the captured T-60 light tank. Among them, the Mersal tank destroyer was the most promising model and even garnered attention from the German allies, who were preparing to mass-produce it for both countries' forces. The designers first mounted a 1904-30 model 122mm howitzer and a coaxial machine gun on the chassis of the T-60 tank. Initially, they were concerned about whether the chassis could handle the weight of the gun, but the T-60 chassis proved to be capable. However, the size of the gun crowded the interior space, and the tank destroyer only had a crew of two members, a driver and a commander who also served as the gunner and loader. For armor protection, the upper structure was installed with slope 20 to 30 mm thick steel plates on all sides, giving the tank destroyer a low-profile appearance, with a top-mounted entrance. The prototype vehicle, codenamed M-00, encountered issues with insufficient power and insufficient gun mount strength during testing. In the subsequent design, the designers replaced the engine with a 120-horsepower engine obtained from France, reinforced the vehicle's armor, changed from riveting to welding, and enlarged the T-60's undersized road wheels, similar to those of the Hunter tank destroyer. The fifth prototype vehicle, M-04, proposed the installation of Romania's own DTUDR 75mm anti-tank gun, a suggestion that was quickly approved. In December 1943, the design of this prototype vehicle was submitted to the head of state, which had a significant impact on the design of the Hunter tank destroyer. Although the design work started early, it was not finalized until June 1944, by which time the Mersal tank destroyer was equipped with a 75mm gun, a French engine, and optical and electrical equipment obtained from Germany. During testing, the prototype vehicle performed reliably, even outperforming the Stu G3 assault gun. As a result, the High Command ordered the production of 1,000 vehicles, including 200 M-05 models and 800 M-06 models, to be used in the formation of 32 anti-tank battalions. Germany also opportunistically provided the relevant technical licenses and planned to purchase several dozen vehicles. For Germany, if Romania could achieve self-sufficiency, it would not only strengthen the combat power of its military, but also reduce assistance to Romania, and even provide assistance to Germany in return. However, just as mass production was about to begin, the suffering Romanian people launched a resistance movement during the war, leading to the complete cessation of production in August. According to the terms of the war, the Soviet army confiscated the prototype vehicles and all related products, and there is little subsequent record of the Mersal tank destroyer. From the perspective of the Soviet army, which already had a large number of armored vehicles, they did not view this wartime equipment favorably. It is likely that after simple testing, they abandoned it and continued to use the T-34 tank instead. In fact, even if the Soviet army did not confiscate the equipment, given the situation in Romania at the time, with dwindling resources and continuous Allied bombing, it would have been impossible to achieve the production plan of 1,000 vehicles. Even if they had been deployed to the front lines, it would have only prolonged the life of Germany and served no real purpose.